Hello, I'm Robin Worley. Welcome to Lenscraft. A couple of days ago, I published a video showing how to softproof in Lightroom. And at the time I said I'd actually found a bug in the latest version of Lightroom. I've investigated this now and I've got a couple of ideas of what's causing it. And I'm going to show you that in this video and what you can do about it. To demonstrate what the problem is, here you can see an image that's open. And on the left, we've got the original image that's been adjusted. On the right, we've got the soft proof. And at the moment, I've not made any changes at all to the soft proof. Now, the way I've got my screen or my Lightroom set up is that I've got an Epsom profile selected here for archival matte paper. And I've also got this simulate paper and ink option turned on. Now, when that's on, I would have expected that the image on the right, the soft proof, actually looks very dull in comparison to the image on the left because ink applied to a matte paper actually should look dull. At the moment, that's not happening. And actually turning that on and off doesn't make any difference to the preview. That's not the way this should work. I found a couple of things that are causing that. And the first one, if we go into our preferences, is this Use Graphics Processor option. Watch what happens now to the image when I turn the Graphics Processor off. You can see immediately that's now become dull and the Simulate Paper and Ink options working as it should. Now I'm going to turn that back on and the reason I want to keep that on is because that helps with the performance of my system. So that's not really an option here. I've actually discovered two other things that are causing this problem. The first one is this gamut warning here. So this is for the monitor gamut. And you can see here where it's actually showing blue pixels is where my image has gone to black. If I turn that off, watch what happens. The simulate paper and ink option is now working as it should. That's the gamut warning for monitor color. The other one is this printing option. And as soon as I display gamut warnings for printing, it also stops the simulate paper and ink option working. So the easy solution to this is make sure that you haven't got any gamut warnings on for either the monitor or for printing if you want to use this simulate paper and ink option. And if you're soft proofing, you really should be using that option. I hope you found that useful. I'm Robin Worley. You've been watching Lenscraft. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.